Andromeda has a mixture of nuts containing 60% almonds, which was combined with a different mixture of nuts containing only 30% almonds. Once combined, two pounds of the new mixture contained 52.5% almonds. Now the question is, how much of the 60% almonds mixture was used to form the combined mixture? So I prepared a, a very handy little table that will help us uh, solve this problem. And uh, let's get started. The question is asking really how much of the 60% almonds mixture was used to form the combined mixture. So I'm going to put an X right here in the mix amount. And of course, the units here will be pounds. Okay, so X pounds of the 60% mixture goes right here, and that's X. Um, and we can fill out the little table, and that's going to help us quite a bit. So now we know that once combined, two pounds of the new mixture contained 52 and a half percent almonds. So two pounds goes here in the combined mix. And we know that the combined mix has 52.5% almonds. Great. We also know that the 60% mix, of course, has 60% almonds. Well, that was a terrible 60. 60% 60 almonds. And the 30% mix has, surprise, surprise, 30% almonds. Um, fantastic. So how can we get the amount of almonds from the information that we already have in each uh, row here? Well, so let's say in the combined mix, we have two pounds of the combined mix, and that's just, well, only 52.5% of this mix is actually made of almonds. So how can we figure this out, the amount of almonds in the combined mix? I can actually just multiply two, because I have two pounds, and I know that 52.5% is actually the almonds uh, amount. So I can multiply the two pounds by 0 0.525, because this represents 52.5%. And how did I get this? I can just go 52.5 divided by 100, which gives me this. So now let's multiply them, see what we get. I'm going to cheat and use my calculator here. And I get 1.05. So I have 1.05 pounds, and that's the total amount of almonds in the mixture. Fantastic. So what else do we know? Um, for the amount of almonds in the top row, I have x times 60%. 60% is just 60 divided by 100. So that's just 0 0.6. So I can rewrite that as 0.6x. Great. Now we're missing information here in the second row. How can we get it? Well, let me just say that this is question mark. I don't know what that is. right? And I know that x plus question mark is equal to 2 because well we're adding the 60% mix to the 30% mix to get two pounds of the combined mix so to solve for the question mark I can just subtract X from both sides and I'm gonna get question mark equals 2 minus X so that's just I'm gonna erase this here I'm just gonna write 2 minus X great now if I multiply 2 minus x by the 30%, I'm going to get 2 minus x times 0 0.3. Okay, because 30 divided by 100, we're using percent, is just 0 0.3. So that's going to be the amount of elements here. I'm not going to expand, I'm just going to leave it like that actually. 0 0.3 times 2 minus x. So now here's what we can actually do to figure out x. This is taking a while, but everyone's going to be satisfied and happy and thrilled once they find the answer, of course. So we know that 0.6x plus 0.3 times 2 minus x is equal to 1.05. Because it must be that if we add 
this part of the mix, the 60% mix, to the 30% mix, so we're adding them together, we're getting the combined mix. So now let's just treat this as a normal equation and solve for x. So 0.6x plus, now I can distribute the 0 0.3. 0 0.3 times 2, 0 0.6. 0 0.3 times negative x, negative 0.3x equals 1.05. Great. Now, 0.6x minus 0.3x, they're like terms, we can combine them, we get 0.3x plus 0 0.6 equals 1.05. Now we can actually just subtract the 0.6 from both sides of the equation. And I'm going to have 0.3x equals 1.05 minus 0 0.6, 0 0.45. Then we can just divide both sides of the equation by 0 0.3. They're going to cancel out. And what are we going to get? 0.45 divided by 0.3 is 1.5. Great. So that's the answer. The mix amount of the 60% mix is 1.5 pounds. And, well, at this point we're done. So 1.5 pounds, that's what we wanted to know. But what if the question was also asking how much of the 30% elements mixture was used to form the combined mixture. Well, we know that it's 2 minus x. x is 1.5, so it'd be 0 0.5, or half a pound. That's it. Hopefully made great, great sense. Um, if not, please check out more videos, and it will make great sense to you. You can find many, many questions right here. Good luck.